good news. Philippines won't stop patrolling Spradleys. Rejecting China's call to stop illegal provocations in the West Philippine Sea. Foreign Affairs Secretary Teodoro Loxin Jr. said the Philippines will not cease patrolling the Spratly Islands. In an interview at ANC Channel yesterday, Loxin said the Philippines will patrol the Spratlys because it is ours. He reminded China that it lost the arbitral award in 2016, which invalidated its nine dash line territorial claim over nearly the entire South China Sea. We win the case against China in international court, so it is ours. He added. They can call it illegal provocations, you can't change their minds. They already lost the arbitral award. They wouldn't accept it. But if that is their choice, it's a free world. I wouldn't stop anyone from talking, he said. China has claimed that the Philippines infringes on its security and sovereignty by sending military aircraft over the islands. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Zhao Lijians issued the statement after the Philippines lodged last week a diplomatic protest against China over the illegal confiscation by the Chinese Coast Guard of fishing devices of Filipino fishermen off Bajo de Masinloc in May. The Philippines objected to China's continuing illicit issuances of radio challenges against Philippine aircraft conducting regular maritime patrols in the West Philippine Sea in a landmark ruling on July 12. 2016, the hack based Permanent Court of Arbitration PCA, found no legal basis for China to claim historic rights to a nine dash line in the South China Sea, and Beijing had breached the sovereign rights of the Philippines. China, however, doesn't want to accept defeat, has opposed and refused to honor the tribunal ruling, instead, flexing its muscle against weaker countries. Philippine Foreign Minister Loxin is calling on the U.S. to beef up its military presence in Asia to control troublemaker China. The United States military presence in Asia is needed as rivalry between Washington and Beijing intensifies, the Philippines Foreign Minister said on Wednesday. Philippine Foreign Minister Teodoro Loxin said Wednesday that Philippines is calling on the U.S. to beef up its military presence in Asia amid surging tensions between its allies and China. The South China Sea, in particular, has been at the center of continued disputes between the U.S. and China, with Beijing claiming much of the strategically vital area as its own territory. The U.S. and its allies disputes those claims and has routinely held freedom of navigation exercises in the region. We have a balance of power situation, Mr. Loxon told ANC News Channel, as quoted by Reuters, we need the U.S. presence in Asia. Loxon said it would be in the Philippines' interest for the, the United States to maintain its military presence in the region and he reiterated the country never stopped cooperation with its longtime security ally. The United States has long opposed China's territorial claims on the South China Sea, regularly sending warships to demonstrate freedom of navigation there. It hardened its position last month by rejecting Chinese maritime claims in the South China Sea, a move which China condemned. The two countries revived close ties from 2000 with war games, frequent visits and by helping against communist and Muslim insurgents. The Philippines has lodged several diplomatic protests against what it sees as provocative Chinese activities in disputed sea. The latest filed against what it said was China's illegal confiscation of equipment from Filipino fishermen in a disputed lagoon. I was very firm about protecting what was ours. I was very firm about never bending a knee to China, Loxin said. Hola. Thanks for listening.